الرحمن الرحيم by the name of Allah the compassionate and the most merciful brothers and sisters السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته today we want to talk about how did Imam al Bukhari write his book that's a question which we need to answer duration how long how did he do it now we need to understand that it takes a lot of research in order to verify some dates and I did this in my book introduction to Sahih al-Bukhari here I'm going to give a summary or the results of this research and the conclusion I reached is that Imam al-Bukhari must have started writing his book when he was at the age of 22 or before even at least so he must have started writing his book year 216 why because he himself says that it took him 16 years to finish the book then as we mentioned just in the uh, previous episode, he presented his book to three major teachers, Imam Ahmed ibn Hanbal, Imam Ali ibn al-Madini, Imam Yahya ibn Ma'in. Now, the last uh, one amongst them, the earliest one amongst them died year 233. So he must have written the book, finished it before 233, which means he must have started year 216 when he was just 22. Now, but this is not the end of the story. We have other narrations that tell us Imam al-Bukhari added to the hadith after that to the book. So he reviewed the book. He edited the book. He added to it uh, chapters. He added uh, titles. He added hadiths also throughout the rest of his life. We have proofs to this. For example, Muhammad ibn Yusuf al-Firabri narrated the Sahih from him year 248 and year 252. So he heard the hadith from him twice. And year 252, it took three years. And in the copy of Sahih al-Bukhari, which Al-Firabri narrated to us, the copy which is now uh, available and we use, this is the most important uh, and most famous narration of Sahih al-Bukhari, there are approximately 300 hadith extra that do not exist in the narration, for example, of earlier students who took Sahih from Imam Bukhari in earlier times. Ibrahim ibn Ma'qil and Nasafi, for example. So that's uh, an example of uh, why we say that Imam Bukhari worked on his book. And I believe, and that's my conclusion, that Imam Bukhari worked on his book for 40 years of his life. Even the copy which he left with his student, Al-Firabri, it had papers inserted in certain pages where he wanted to add something. Either he added or he wanted to add something and he left uh, a chapter title, Bab, without uh, any hadith included underneath it, etc. It's uh, an author who spent his lifetime working on this book, 40 years of his lifetime working on this book to produce it to the Muslim Ummah. And this is one reason why it is the most important book. Imam al-Bukhari himself realized this and worked on it, and worked on it, and worked on it. This is why we will see that Sahih al-Bukhari has a lot of secrets. It's an, an amazing book. And the study of Sahih al-Bukhari takes ages. And there is still room to discover many of the secrets of Sahih al-Bukhari. <laughs> I'm going to